Welcome back to ESA Summer Online. We are raising money for Alzheimer Fonden. Links to donate can be found below the stream, or you can use exclamation point donate to donate yourself. We would also like to thank Kaspersky, Twitch, and ViewSonic for sponsoring this event. And now it is time for the Red Sox running Watch and Run. Take it away. Thank you. So yeah, this is a contrast to the previous game I played. And this is much faster, and there is basically no breaks at all, and I think Havard will try to do the best he can to commentate. <laughs> yeah. My voice is getting more broken by the minute, but luckily there's only this left. Yeah. The, the game is super sick, and just to explain the premise of the game before we start, it's a puzzle game where the whole premise is speedrunning glitches and strats. So there's intentional out of bounds. There's intentional, like, hold the button to like deload or like overload the RAM and stuff. All of these are intentional things in the game, and you use them to solve puzzles. And it makes the speed run insane. <laughs> yeah, I'll just count down from three, and then we start. Okay, so it's three, two, one, go. Right, so already he's bunny hopping and you're supposed to click these boxes to that's the, how you go to the next level. So he's already, like, there is actual strafe jumping and stuff, it's programmed into the game. You can jump on boxes while holding them and drag yourself along upwards. That's gonna be useful later. If you go fast enough, you can go through certain walls because that's like how, the, that's a mechanic. And then orange walls you can deload by overloading the memory without crashing the game. Uh... Yeah, you can press yourself through certain walls with the uh, cubes <clears throat> uh, or or down certain other walls with auto cubes. <laughs> uh, right, so this wall he tried to go through with speed again. So yellow is speed walls, orange is deload walls. And yeah, so now he's just uh, jumping through walls all over the place and completing levels super quickly. He's gonna hit the end level trigger through the floor here. There, <laughs> there we go. He's gonna jump through this wall with the box. There we go. Oh, this is so good. This is a good pace so far. Um, right, he's gonna push himself through this wall as well, and then he's gonna go through the um, the roof, also with the box. Yeah. There we go. And then I need to deload the. Oh yes. Oh, that's really sick. That's actually super difficult. Right, so he's gonna jump through this wall really fast, and then that gets him to the next level again. Because the yellow walls, you can, they, they like deload if you go fast enough. This level is impossible. If he does this, it's crazy. Yeah. Come on. Oh, oh, so he needs to get to this middle platform in the room, and then he needs to beat himself upwards with the box to get to the door. So again, the whole premise is that these glitches are intentional, and the like. The mechanic of the game is so ingenious. It's so so much fun as a as a puzzle game, but it's also crazy technical. It's so nice. Oh, he's doing so well as well. Right, this so, level <laughs> is the worst in the entire game, and I might this have to do this casually if I can't get it. Yeah, this strat is insane. So we need to like bounce on this box while. Um... Oh. Yes, 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 yes! No! no. Oh god, you, so you need to like do a su super specific angle setup and then like bounce on the box. It's so crazy. And again, all these things, we think, except for maybe one of the glitches we've found, are totally intentional. They're like tutorials for them and everything, right? So even the thing he's doing now is like intentional, right? It's really sick. But it, it just has, so happens that the way we do it in the speedrun is super difficult. Yeah, and I'll give it like 30 more seconds and then I'll just skip it. Yeah. Because it's like, it's the biggest run killer if... Yeah. If this Either this works or it doesn't. Yeah, so oh, the developer that. also has said that um, he's adding more stuff to it and we're, we're looking so much forward to it. Uh, the game is actually so dope, it's... I mean, oh, oh come on! Oh. Yeah, I'm just gonna do it normally, I guess. Yeah. So that is the hardest strat in the game, and it's really, really brutal. So it just needs to open the door and go there normally. Most of the levels are pretty short, but all the skips we're doing makes them look, you know, like... 
seconds long. It's crazy. Oops. So the, <clears throat> there is actually a boss in the game as well, the final boss. And uh, oh boy, he's he sure is something, the last boss. But uh, hopefully we will be lucky and it won't be too bad. So he needs this um, ball and drop it through this slot, and then he can open the yeah, and then I can purple shoot. door. That's where the thing I wanted to get to. Yeah. Some bunny hopping to skip some lava sections. Yeah, these are like white jump pads. If you slam into them with a lot of speed, you can just fly super fast. We also learned a, a climbing mechanic in that level that we skipped. This level is just... Oh yeah, right! When he goes into this like a glitch mode, uh, time stops. And that's like a... It's called the hack tool and you're supposed to use it for a bunch of stuff, but in the speedrun we almost don't. Uh, right, in this level he's gonna glitch through this wall. Yeah, perfect. Get to the ending. This level is crazy. He needs to slam into the white pad with a lot of speed, and that'll get him to the ending of the level. If he does it the right way, ah, uh, good enough, good enough. You get all this the way, way to the top. Yeah, yeah, you can just perfect. spawn and slam into it right away. So now he's gonna do a jump and slam into the roof while he's trying to deal with it. Yeah, oh, no, this perfect. is a speed, speed roof. Oh yeah, this is a, that's a speed, uh, speed uh, roof. This level is insane. Oh, you're doing this setup. Oh, you're crazy. Yeah. Okay. So he just slammed himself through the roof and then hit the end of the trigger. This level is supposed to teach you that you can go uh, through roofs as well with the same mechanic. Uh, again, he's going to slam into this white box to get to the end of the level. <laughs> so hard to commentate this. Yeah. Right, so <clears throat> he's going to use this box to go through this wall. And uh, oh, uh, he needs to go to the other room. <clears throat> and again, there's uh, like every puzzle has like many possible solutions, so we don't even know what we like which things are. Oh, this jump is so brutal to get in one. Yeah, we don't even know what. Okay, so here's a glitch that we don't know if he knows about, uh, but it's uh, slime hovering. We called it. So you can hover with slime uh, swimming if you do it into a corner. So that's that level. This is the second to the last level, and he needs a box. We used to slime over to the ending of this one, but we don't, because we take the box, and now we're gonna slam through the roof by deloading it, and then he's gonna jump to the ending after going high enough. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so we're in the last level. This is the final boss. And unfortunately, it's uh, RNG. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we have this really cool, really fun game, and uh, the last boss colors are RNG, so it's really, really gruesome to grind this game out. I can say that uh, for sure. So, so if, if, if you want the perfect hit, run, the time is over. Yeah. So the perfect run would just oh. be uh, three he's reds been red. red. Yeah. And before it's four red. We, oh, the red sock! Come on. Uh, oh, oh. Time, time, time. Time. <laughs> <laughs> I got RNG on the last hit, so I uh, got it. Yes, yeah, so that was slightly overestimate. Yeah. That is fine. Seven well, just because minutes. Because of level nineteen, it's so important. So hard. Yeah, level nineteen was crazy. Yeah, so yeah, I think uh, the developer is in chat. So say thank you to Bovino. Yeah, and, and uh, you should definitely try the game out and, and try to figure out all the puzzles yourself. It's really, really fun, and I hope that to come, he'll add more levels in the future. It's a really, the game really is super underrated. cheap. Yeah, the game is super cheap on Steam, so you're literally missing out by not buying it, honestly. Yeah, and yeah, that's all for me. Uh, thank you so much to ESA for hosting me, and uh, I hope you donate as much as you can for this good cause. And um, that's me. Thank you. I just have one donation to take care of. Yeah, go ahead. We we have five dollars from Passere. Let's get Priscilla her present. This is, of course, referring to the incentive for 102 Dalmatians to get Priscilla her birthday present. With that in mind, folks, we need to get set up for the next run, New Super Lucky's Tales, so we'll be back, don't you worry. Just uh, maybe get some water 
and uh, we'll be back. <laughs>